Well, you kind of have to know a little bit about me to know what one Athens means to me, and that's that um, I grew up from a small community, always been in Alabama. Uh, so when we talked about this with the Board of Education and and our goal, one of our goals for me as a superintendent was to come with this one Athens approach. Uh, and then we were able to take it into our instructional program and into our student services and into everything we do within the system. It came from my background of of thinking uh, small school, everybody knows everybody, everybody's on the same page, everybody works for the same common purpose and that's for our students. And um, when you love kids and you love learning and you and you love to see them succeed, um, those are the type of things that it means a lot to me. It means a lot for me to be able to see our students all working in the same direction, our teachers all working in the same direction, our administrators all working in the same direction. When I think of what happens, I think of all of our schools having the opportunity to collaborate, uh, work together, and each school brings different individual opportunities and growth. So we all can accomplish the vision that's been set forth by our district. And like you, I see it as a shared vision, but I see it starting within our school and setting goals and letting our teachers become leaders and sharing what they know and then reaching out to the other schools in our system and sharing among those schools and all with the idea of helping our students learn and grow. The concept of One Athens is a, is a collective and collaborative, a collaborative model that we are looking at our kids where they come into us at the very beginning we were talking about pre-K and then where they finish out at what you know the, the beast everything feeds the beast here at Athens High School and we know this is the flagship school this community and so it's really how do we tie our children with our community from the time they're pre-K to the time they leave Athens High School. One page instructional target was the work of not only our district-wide instructional leadership team but also the work of approximately 30 educators uh, that were a part of the uh, educator effectiveness team so it was a collaborative effort and I think the, the whole purpose of the in one page instructional target is to provide a laser focus for our district. The thing I love about it is the goals are set up not only for the uh, educators, the teachers, but also for the students too. And each stakeholder has a, a part in that one, one target. I, I think the collaboration between the central office personnel, the administrators, um, the instructional partners, as well as input from teachers was um, critical to the development of the One Page Target being a uh, collaborative document that had many voices and again all with the mission of helping our students learn. The educator effectiveness team put together rubrics on what excellent teaching and learning looks like. And so we were able to incorporate a lot of those ideas that came through the voice of our teachers into our one-page instructional target. From the very beginning, our consultant, Keisha from the State Department, made it clear that we needed to formulate a tool that really resembled Athens City School. And she told us over and over and over, stressed, that we needed to make it for us. It did not have to look like any other system, just make it look like us. And after we, I guess, understood that, we were given some generic guidelines and uh, to use in creating this tool. And over several meetings, we were able to put together something that we felt like represented who we were, something authentic to Athens City Schools. And teacher voice for the first time, I've been employed 34 years as kindergarten teacher in Athens City School, and this is the first time I remember us on a local level, teacher level, having the opportunity to verbalize what we're already doing and having it filtered into the tool that was going to be used to evaluate us. And for me, that helped to validate that what we do every day is not only being recognized within our building, but across the board in the State Department as well. I think it's going to be a huge impact when it's implemented because teachers have access to these rubrics, including data-driven instruction, um, literacy and engagement, 
learning environment, and teachers can look and see what exemplary is on the rubric and work toward improving every piece of their teaching to reach exemplary. And as teachers move toward exemplary on that rubric, students are going to be impacted in huge ways. I think when we're looking at, at a major shift is we're looking at Athens City Schools is becoming the largest 1A high school in the state. I know Dr. Holliday refers to that, but it's really the feel of the of the relationship feel, the empowerment feel that every teacher has, that our instructional partner has, that our admin have, that our students have, uh, as far as their, their connectedness to this community and their connectedness to Athens, and that none of us are separate entities um, or just a bunch of schools anymore. We're, we're a collective system uh, with one focused mindset of the success for our students. Uh, and nobody's in competition with each other. We are literally just trying to be better than we were yesterday for all of our students. I've been super excited about the change in my role this year. Uh, going from a coach to an instructional partner uh, means that there's so much more opportunity to really work one-on-one -on -one with teachers, um, do the embedded professional development. Um, one of the things we're really focusing on this year is reflection and reflecting as teachers. And that's something that I can help facilitate as an instructional partner is having teachers reflect on what they're doing in the classroom and what the purpose is. And that's really where we're going to see a lot of professional growth. We recently did a survey and sent it out to our teachers where they had the opportunity to share areas where they felt um, they were strong and that they could share with other members of our faculty. And then we've set up, I call them partner visits, where the teachers can go in and visit each other's classroom and then follow that up with a collaborative conversation so that we can learn and grow from each other.